Welcome back to episode four of my tutorial series on building track in Railroads Online. In today's episode, I'm going to show a few things of what happens when you build corners and you don't build them right. And so to start off with, we'll build a corner in this nice area that I've cleared here that's on level ground so we don't have to worry about groundworks. And we'll build across a cross track to start off with because it makes it easy to get our straight line. And this is the correct way to lay a corner. The first segment, anywhere between three and five degrees will work for the first segment to ease into the corner. And because we're going to go for a tight corner this time, we want to put another step easing into the corner. So we'll go for 15 degrees and then we'll go all the way up to the tight corner that we put in and we'll put in 33 degrees, which is, that's, that's a very, very tight corner. This is something you would only use in a yard. You would not put this on the open track. And we'll put them in at seven tie lengths, keeping every single segment the same length around the corner. And now we'll ease back out the same way that we eased into the corner with a 15 and then a five. And then one more to get us back to zero. And then continue on the straight. All right, click down the spine and you can see that has, there's no wobble into the corner, it eases in gets to the tight part of the corner and then eases back out again and we'll have a look at it from the third person perspective so that we can see that it's a nice smooth curve and the trains will go around that no problem at all okay now what happens when you don't build with even segments. I'll give a very quick demonstration here. We'll do the same thing as we started again, but we'll go, we'll start off with a five. And then we'll go to our 15. But this time, we'll, instead of, we placed a seven for our first segment, we'll place a five tie for our second segment. And then we'll go up to our 33. This time we'll place a seven segment and then we'll place a five segment, a five tie segment, and then a seven tie segment. Uh, three, five, that's six, we want five, and then seven, and then five, and then seven. And then seven, and now we'll ease back out of the corner again. The same way we did before with a 15. And we want five ties this one. Sometimes it doesn't let you click in that time it did. You have to have the mouse pointer center of the rails to get it to accept it and then back to straight. And straight away you can see that that has made a kinky corner. Every single place where there is a five tie segment, it has caused a kink in the corner. This is the importance of keeping every single tie, uh, every single segment within your corner, the same tie length. It doesn't matter whether it's every single one of them is five ties long, they could be all seven ties long, or they could be all full length. It won't make a difference, you'll get a small uh, smooth corner. But if you alter the length mid corner, this is what will happen, you will get a kinky corner. Okay, so we'll delete all these and out of the view, give me that. I 
I'll show what happens if you do not ease into the corner. And we'll use full length segments for this because it's actually more pronounced on longer segments. So we'll build across the cross track to start off with. And lock it on and we'll go to a full length. And now we'll go straight to 33 degrees instead of easing into the corner. And place down a full length segment and a full length segment. Okay, and now we'll end the corner here back to zero. One more straight on the end. Oh, straight away you can see that the track has turned left before it has turned right. And it has done it on both ends. Also here as well, the track has turned to the right before it goes left. This can cause a derail of a train. And there's an aerial view of it so that you can see what it does from straight up above. We'll run up and we'll have a look at the other end as well. This is something you want to try and avoid. Now, it is less pronounced if you do it with a shorter piece of track. We'll now do it with seven tie segments, but it will still kick out if you try and go straight to the desired corner radius. So we'll place a seven. We'll go straight to a 33 again. And we've run out of room, so we'll go back to zero and finish off the corner here. Seven. And an end. And you can see that it is still kicked out to the left before it turns right, and it's done it on both ends of the curve. That is the importance of easing into the corner. It removes this turn right before turn left. And now one last thing that I want to cover on corners is how to do a repair on a corner. And well, we can use this one here with the full length. So what we're gonna do is we're going to remove just one little segment out of the middle of the corner. Now, if you want to do a repair on there, you can't just do that because it puts a straight line piece of track between the two. Okay, and like another, another way some people have shown is to go to build on top of the track like that and then connect it and go on top of the track again. And you can see that still doesn't match neatly into the corner. And the other thing that it will do is if you look very closely when you crouch down, it has actually caused a dip in the track as well. The track is no longer level and it has actually pushed some of those ties into the terrain. So it's caused a low spot. So we'll delete that. And then we'll do it the correct way so that you can put a piece in there that you do not even realize that it accidentally got deleted. Now, if you come back to the last joint and if you connect to that joint, and connect to the end, connect to there, and then find the next joint along here. 
that will make this middle piece match in with the rest of the curve. Now, of course, you have to remove that cord and this corded piece. And now you can't tell. But that is now two splines and not one spline. If we want to then turn it again into one single spline, come back to the start, connect to every one of the joints. Where are you? There it is. And onto this one. And onto the next one. And this method here also works if you're doing repairs where somebody has put in lots and lots of short pieces. You can smooth out their short pieces by putting long pieces in over the top. Now, before you um, right-click to end, you go back and you delete the original track, the two splines that are underneath. And it won't delete the ghost, which you still haven't right-clicked and finished the spline in. So you don't have any double track problems. All right, and now we can right click that in. And there it's replaced exactly the same as it was, but now it's back to being a single spline again, which saves load time on loading the game. It also saves on the physics engine. Okay, and that's all that I want to cover today on corners. Um, in the next episode, I will cover making a very long, shallow curve. And we're going to build a 1% curve from here, following around down through the trees. And it's just a long, drawn-out process of keeping the same tie segments and that 1% curve. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.